The Wood Whisperer is sponsored by Powermatic, the gold standard since 1921. And by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. If you're not using marking gauges or some sort of a blade to lay out your joinery, you are really missing out. I remember a conversation I had with William Ng at the William Ng School a couple of years ago, and he said that if you wanna make good joinery, use a pencil. If you wanna make great joinery, use a knife. Let me show you a few of the marking gauges and knives that I have on hand, how they work, and then hopefully you'll find that they're gonna be useful in your shop too. Now here are a couple examples of marking gauges. This is by no means representative of all the options out there. This is just what I happen to have on hand. Now this one here is my go-to marking gauge. It's very traditional in design, fairly simple. It just happens to be a very nice one. You just loosen up the screw up at the top and you could adjust your fence to any location you want. You've got a nice sharp knife, a straight blade here with a bevel on one edge, and then you can kind of go right up onto your end grain and scribe a nice tight line. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now the second one here is very similar. I mean, really it's the same exact concept. The difference here is we have a nice wooden wedge and you use that wedge to hold the fence in place. I like this one because it's got a nice long reference surface and frankly, it just looks really cool. The other example that I have here is a Veritas wheel sort of marker. There's a few different types out on the market, uh, but the idea is the cutting surface here is not one of these sort of straight knife blades. It's a little disc and that little disc is very sharp. Uh, actually, mine is very dull right now, otherwise I wouldn't be touching it that way. Uh, but it works on the same principle. You just line it up on the end grain and strike your line. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this, uh, this type. The reason is because I don't think that this provides a whole lot of reference surface. The one advantage though is because this blade can rotate, it's fairly easy to move along a particular surface because it's rolling along that surface. But the lack of a, a significant reference edge for me just puts these on top. I really prefer this style. Now there is one more thing I'll mention here and this particular uh, marking gauge actually has optional blades and you can use a sharp point blade or the knife blade. Now, I don't really use these much, but you might find marking gauges that come with these instead of blades. And uh, you know, they work. It just depends on your personal preference. I prefer to slice the grain with a blade as opposed to just a sharpened point. Now, of course, these aren't marking gauges, but they can accomplish a similar task. They are marking knives. And the idea is just to scribe the grain, but in this case, you might be using something like a straight edge or a square, and you would ride your knife right against that edge. And it slices the grain just like your marking gauge would. The only difference here is you don't really have a set fence. And the advantage of the marking gauge is the fact that you can make cuts on multiple sides, keeping that same fence setting. If you use a knife to do this, you're probably not going to be quite as consistent or accurate because you're gonna to have to use a straight edge each and every time. But it is certainly one possibility. And there's lots of different knives out there. Uh, this one is real dirty just because I use it for you know, crap work. This is my nice one that I use for joinery. Now you might be wondering why this is so much better than a pencil line in the first place. Well, the first reason is accuracy. When you cut with a knife, the resulting line is maybe a couple thousandths of an inch in width. Compared to a big chunky pencil line, it's much easier to say that I know I'm exactly where I need to be in reference to that line. Additionally, these things have fences on them. So the fences allow us to be consistent in marking multiple sides of a single workpiece. Let's say for dovetails or you're scribing around for the shoulder of a tenon. Uh, it'll make sure that you're much more accurate on each one of those sides. Another reason is tear out. No doubt you've seen that when you cut wood, especially across the grain, you wind up getting little bits of tear out at the ends of the board where it's unsupported. So if you actually cut that grain ahead of time, when you wind up cutting with your saw and go right up to that line, you get a nice, clean, crisp edge and you don't have any tear out to worry about. And the final reason has more to do with using saws and chisels. If you use scribe lines, you now have a perfect place to lay the tip of your chisel into as a marker to know exactly where to place that tool. I mean, putting it onto a pencil line, sure, you may be on one side or the other and you may slip a little bit, but if you've got a little trough that you could put your blade down into and then go to work, your work is gonna be a whole lot more accurate and it's just gonna make your life that much easier. 
So whether you're a hand tool or a power tool woodworker, maybe you're a hybrid woodworker like myself, you will find marking gauges and knives to be absolutely indispensable in the shop. Try using them a few times and you'll see your joinery is gonna get better.